начнем с разговора о, том, о той базе, небольшого разговора о той базе, на которой, собственно, стоит вот наш педагогический наш And what I would like to start with is actually the foundation of our pedagogical content. So the first thing I would like you to understand is the result of uh, this course that TRIS and OTSM is uh, not education, not uh, pedagogy. So these are two different things. Probably this is not the most important thing, uh, yet it is quite important as one of the things to take with you as a result of this course. So TREE stands for the theory of inventive problem solving and another term we often use is classical TREEs. So the most important difference if we compare TREEs with uh, other uh, approaches and theories is that TREEs is based on objective laws of system evolution. These laws uh, have been formulated by Genrich Altschuler uh, for technical systems. They can obviously be used in education when we teach children, including actually young children. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing your attention to this because uh, we haven't actually discussed this content uh, and in fact it might be quite interesting. So, what I would like to draw your attention to that initially trees uh, was developed as a science for dealing with problems in the technical field. And the are in fact three main postulates behind uh, classical trees. All systems, all systems evolve according to objective laws. Uh, systems develop through uh, con resolving contradictions. And systems differ from each other uh, through different specific resources. Uh, this is a very important thing to understand that uh, when we're studying trees, because when we deal with problems, and if we're careful, we actually see the problems are very similar to each other, because we can describe them using uh, one set of models. And in fact, when we are formulating a contradiction, it doesn't matter uh, whether uh, the system we're dealing with is a table, or the system we're dealing with is a course we want to develop, or even if we uh, dealing with some uh, uh, non-tangible system, we're still formulating contradiction in the same way. 
Но ресурсы разные, и, соответственно, разным будет решение. However, the resources are always different, and it means actually that uh, solution is, uh, solutions are going to be different as well. И когда мы выбираем, какие задачи, например, решать с нашими детьми или не решать, мы прежде всего uh, опираемся на то, какие ресурсы они знают, а какие нет. And in fact, uh, when we're making a decision on uh, which problems we're going to bring to the classroom, to our children, one of, the, uh, one of the main indicators is the resources. So which resources are actually known to our children and which resources are not known to them. We, for example, can't решать the задачу, в которой требуется, скажем, какой-то физический закон, если дети наши этого закона не знают и For, for example, we shouldn't really be dealing with a problem which is based on a certain uh, law from physics if the children do, are not aware of this law, in fact. Uh, so one of the parameters speaking about the level of difficulty uh, all of referred to is actually uh, knowledge of resources when we bring the problem to children. Uh, one of the things that uh, one of the things which uh, became pretty clear uh, in the course of the development of trees is that uh, at least some of the laws uh, of system evolution uh, are not bound just to technical systems, so they work also with non-technical systems. Uh, and then the task was formulated in the following way. Uh, we should develop a system of tools for knowledge management, not only uh, within the field of technical systems, but also beyond it. Uh, 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 and in fact, OTSM, or the general theory of powerful thinking, is an answer, uh, at least one of the answers to this problem.